what uh, compilation of heavy metal clips would be complete without some rather dodgy girls in swimwear astride some powerful motorcycles? And to discuss that and other such savoury topics, we have the pop journalist Gary Bushel, Wurzel and Lemmy from Motorhead. Welcome. Now, <laughs> Lemmy, you, you first. I mean, that load of clips we've just seen there, they're from all over the world and everything. Yeah. I, I, we're always told that heavy metal is meant to be progressing and developing. It seemed to me that they're all pretty much the same sort of subject matter. Is, uh... Yeah, I agree with you. I think that... Uh... Actually, heavy metal, the great strength of heavy metal is that it doesn't progress, actually. That's a strength, is it? Yeah. Why is that a strength? Because people keep enjoying it the way it is. Surely if they were offered something different, they might get the chance to... Uh, well, all to... these other people keep offering them different stuff, don't they? You know? And it gets very boring. I mean, how many heavy metal bands have you seen that progressed into something they know nothing about just because they feel they should? There's not, not many. many bands that keep on doing it. Like, for instance, Slade, right? Yeah. They've never progressed as such. It's still just as popular. Third time round. Gary, of all those clips we've just seen, is there anyone there who struck you as doing something new and exciting and different? Well, I, I enjoyed about seven out of ten of them. I thought, you know, just a shame you didn't have Twisted Sister there and all. Um, why Twisted Sister? What about Twisted Sister? Why, why they make good Twisted? videos, like ZZ Top do. I mean, it's a real shame, though. What is a shame is that um, you have to have, apart from the occasional thing like this, you have to watch Entertainment USA to see good British rock mm. bands. You want to involve Wurzel in this, don't you? Yeah, go on, get involved, son. Wurzel, Gary's written a book about Iron Maiden here, which yes. I've read, and it's very entertaining. It's yeah. called Running Free. Uh, the only thing that... My only criticism of it is it's the same story, it seems, as all other heavy metal bands, that the faces could be different, but the, the, the events are the same. The, the line-up changes, the drinking the Remy Martin out the bottle. What makes this group so special? The sales. The sales. <laughs> Wurzel, what makes, what makes Iron Maiden so special? Well, yeah, I'd say the sales. But they're, they're also um, they're a very popular band live, aren't they? You know, they give it uh, lots of stick. Why, why did you write a book about Iron Maiden? What's, what's so particularly good about them? Well, I disagree with what Lemmy said, actually, because I think one of the good things about Iron Maiden is they have actually developed what they're doing. They've actually uh, made every metal more exciting than it was. Like, like... There's, a, there's a quote in your book, Gary, and admittedly this is not from you, to the effect that Iron Maiden could send cold shivers down Jimmy Page's fretboard. This lot are going to blast the older generation of heavy rockers out of their penthouse suite. <laughs> Is that actually true of, like, of, of, of Led Zeppelin? Do you think any, any group will actually replace Led Zeppelin? Yeah, but they've gone. <coughs> they've gone so of course they've been replaced, yeah. If you, all right, if you put on an hour-long programme on the TV of vintage footage of Led Zeppelin, and you put on one of Motorhead or, or, or anyone else, Van Halen, which would get the higher rating? I wouldn't be Motorhead. The blood would get the higher rating. The blood. The blood. No, but what, I mean, you say that about heavy metal, but I mean, what is Wham and Culture Club if it's not Motown recycled? And it's, it's, it's the same with other uh, types of music, just people don't ask the same questions. All right, this is Lemmy's opportunity to be unbearably modest and say, what influence have you, Motorhead, had on heavy metal? Well, I think we were the first, you see. So, I mean, well, we weren't the first. We were the first of the so-called new wave thereof. Isn't that right, Gary? Oh, yes. Well, we are about to see a clip from, I think it's Def Not Blind, Oh, yeah. A view, Motorhead, and a track called Iron Fist, and here it is. Thank you.